Let's have a look at question three in this video. So a university found that 78% of the transfer students eventually graduate. Now of all the students that enter that university, 73% of them are regular students and the remainder are transfer students. Also, the proportion of all the students that enter and do not graduate is 34%. Now, the joint probability that a randomly chosen student is a transfer student who will also graduate is 0.21, true or false. Okay, so first of all, let's put all this data on a graph and then we'll be able to interpret the graph. Now, this is what we have. We enter the universities and we could have either regular students or transfer students. Since it is given to us that 73% of them are regular, the remainder are 27% because in total they must add up to 100% which they do in this case. So 27% are transfer student. What we also know is that out of the transfer students, 78% over here graduate and the remainder, it means they don't graduate. So again, 22% is the remainder because they make up to 100. We also know the proportion of students that graduate in total is 34% and those that don't is 66%. So whenever we have this, you could call it a tree, right? Because we have branches from one thing to the next thing. We're speaking about dependent probabilities because how do we, how do we, you know, explain that? The outcome, whether we graduate or not, that's what we're interested in, depends whether we are regular students or transfer students. Because what would be the intuition in common sense? You see, if we're regular students from the university, we might be more familiar with that system of education. So we might have a higher probability of graduating that degree. But if we're transfer students, we're coming from a different university. So we're not familiar with the system. So it probably affects the results. And I think this makes sense. So that's what it tells us. It tells us that the type of student affects the likelihood of graduating or not. So we're dealing with conditional probability. We graduate based on a condition. That condition is if we are regular or transfer. That's the intuition. Now, when we're speaking about joint probability, joint has a key word and that is and. So what we're dealing with is the probability of being a transfer student and eventually graduate. So we must be a transfer student and graduate. That is the joint probability we're dealing with. And because we have a conditional probability, we must take that condition into account. So the probability, the joint probability, when we have dependent, a dependent probability here is going to be the probability of being a transfer student times the probability of graduating given that we are a transfer student. And notice this is the difference in this case versus if it was independent events. If it was independent events, it would be just P of T times P of G. But since we can see that the probabilities are affected by the type of student, we must take this condition into account. So we have the probability of being a transfer student. That is 27%, right? Proportion means probability. So we write it over here below 0.27. We have one piece of data. 0.27 and now the question is what is the probability of graduating given that we are a transfer student and that's the reason i also drew the graph because that's the best way to understand conditional probabilities by looking at the graph probability of graduating given that we are transfer so it has to deal with the transfer and it has to deal with the graduation and that's how we read this this is we go to the end whenever we read probabilities we go until the end and we see the probability of graduating given or in other words you could say if maybe it makes more sense in the you know sense of vocabulary if we are a transfer student so we are a transfer student and then we graduate so if that happens then it's a 78 percent probability so that is 0.78 now we just work out the math so 0.27 times 0.78 that's equal to 0.2106 that was our goal that's what we're looking for the answer key tells us that the probability is equal to hold on a second is equal to 0 0.106 so it is true and we are done